Hey, you guys, welcome back to another reading. So this is going to be some love messages for whoever needs them. They are very, very general. I do offer personal love reads. Like you can get like a new love read. That's if you single, single like a Pringle. Or you can get like a specific person love read if you do have, if you are in some type of connection and you could be unsure about it. That's a really good read to get. That's like my most highly requested read. But they're really super helpful. Um, You can book one by using my link tree link that's located in the description box below you can also to email me to y'all you don't have to use the link but all i do ask is that your message starts off with some type of simple greeting like hi hello what's up or whatever you want to say if not unfortunately i will not respond back to you but today i'm going to be using my personal love oracle cards or whatever i have not used these in a while and I don't know why, but yeah, we're going to be using these today just to see what messages show up. But no, I wanted to share like a little tip with y'all. So the Dollar Tree has some really, really cute um, Valentine's Day stuff. And I've never really been into like Valentine's Day or whatever. Like I never really been excited about <laughs> purchasing like Valentine's Day items or whatever. But this year, I guess I gained like a new perspective on like Valentine's Day. But I'm looking at this as more so like self-love. I found this like really cute heart bowl. It has glitter in it. I think the glitter like moves a little bit, but not really. But yeah, I... And when I seen this, I was like, I was picturing like a little self-love practice or whatever going on. So yeah, y'all should definitely check out the Dollar Tree or whatever. Not really sure if other people be doing that. But yeah, that's how I'm looking at it this year for Valentine's Day. I even bought some like fake flowers, like the, um, they were like pink roses or whatever. I'm gonna buy some real ones, but I found those too. But yeah, let's see what comes out um, for you guys. So what messages does the collective need to see here for February? What do they need to see here for February? What does the collective need to see here for February? So we got a keeper showing up here. I feel like this is going to be a real positive read. But we got a keeper and we got love letters. Some of you guys could definitely be about to receive some type of love letter. I don't know if they still writing love letters in 2023. I don't know. Because it's a little sketchy <laughs> out here like these days. I don't think they writing love letters. They'll send you a text or like a DM or something. I don't know, phone call. But there's some type of communication that's coming in. And you could be the person who could be wanting to send like a text or something to somebody. But it's like someone knows that you're a keeper. Or it's like whoever this is um, that's sending you some type of love news. It's like they are a keeper. A spirit saying they are a keeper pretty much. So let's see. Tell me more for the collective. Tell me more for the for the collective. Okay, so wow, look, this card showed up again at the bottom. Love letter. So there's some type of love news coming in from somebody who's about to reveal to you. And the roles could be reversed to y'all. I don't know exactly what's going on. But there's some type of communication to where someone's going to show you their true colors. And this is not in a bad way. But pretty much it's like they're revealing that, like, hey, they could... Um, saying that they're interested. So this could be a new suitor for somebody too, but they're about to reveal their true colors or speak their truth through some type of communication. So tell me more for the collective. Tell me more for the collective. What messages are they needing to hear for February? So there was a card that flew. Okay, so we got make money together and keep that same energy. It's somebody who is... um like on the same vibration as you pretty much it's like y'all matching energy so it's like both y'all keeper pretty much but they could be wanting to make money with you too this could definitely turn into like some type of power couple situation with make money together yeah the color green y'all is very significant it's like someone's favorite color could be green or whatever or it's just y'all just like really um on this like abundance frequency pretty much because you know when people think about green it's like they think about money right so let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more for the collective. And also, too, um, what I just heard, y'all. So for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with people who were kind of like unsure about you. It's kind of like a mood swing type of situation. Like the roles could have been reversed, but it's like this is not that type of situation. 444 on the timer. But it's not this type of situation. It's like this person knows that, you, you, that you're a keeper or whatever. And they could see you as someone that they could make money with. Two, it's not just like the whole romance part. It's like it's more than that, pretty much. Tell me more. 
Because it's like not everybody in some type of relationship or partnership. It's like you don't see that person as like some type of business partner. That's like really rare. But that's what I'm getting here with this energy. Tell me more for the collective. And if y'all, since Valentine's Day coming up, y'all, it's like right around the corner, right? Um, don't stress yourself out about having a Valentine. Um, but I do want to say if you are in some type of connection to where like you could be in a full blown like relationship or whatever, if the person just picking for Valentine's Day to go like above and beyond, then you may, that may be a red flag. Like seriously, cause I just feel like, um, it shouldn't just be for like one day. Honestly, it's like, they shouldn't go above and beyond just cause it's Valentine's Day. It's like, if they not doing that throughout the year, something wrong. That's just my opinion. But yeah, let's see what else comes out. Tell me more for the collective. And they ain't got to go above and beyond, y'all. It's just the, like the thought that counts. But it's like they shouldn't just be picking Valentine's Day to, you know, treat you um, special, I guess you could say. But let's see. Tell me more for the collective. Tell me more for the collective. Okay, so we got hidden emotions. So, yeah, it looks like you could be revealing your feelings towards somebody or, you know, the roles could be reversed. But there is some type of communication um, where someone's going to be expressing their true feelings for you. And we got the grass wasn't greener, too. So it's like maybe um, let me find out they pick picking size. But what in the world? <laughs> I don't know what that grass wasn't greener part was about, but let's see. But I do feel like, too, it's almost like they are, it's like kind of like they're on the brown side of the grass, which is like if they keep holding on to their emotions, it's like not good for the heart. It's like, why would you keep holding on, holding in your truth pretty much? So it's like the need to speak your truth. It's like the grass going to be greener. It's like once you speak your truth or whatever, that's what it looked like. Tell me more. Tell me more for the collective. Okay, we got blast from the um blast from the past. Someone's been healing from past trauma, but look, you're gonna be okay. That's what I put on the card. It says you'll be all right, but you're gonna be fine. It's just like healing from any type of past trauma here. What is blast from the past? But definitely be careful too about past people that could be wanting to like express how they feel now. It's like if you get bad vibes, or maybe they could have been unsure about you. Um, in the past, just be mindful of that too. It's like, why pick now? It's like, you know, um, once they found out the grass was not greener on the other side, they come, they trying to come back to like the good side, right? Where the grass freshly cut is like green all the way. Yeah. So they could definitely be, um, I feel like for some people, whatever this past energy is for some people, it's like, um, Whatever this energy is, it's like the person could have hurt you or caused some type of trauma too. So just be mindful of that. But there is some type of special treatment that's coming in here. Flowers could be very significant too. So let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more for the collective. Uh-oh. Okay, so love letter. I thought this was the third party, like the love triangle part. It was like an entanglement type of situation, but we got love letters. So this is very significant. I'm going to clarify this, but we got foe that's showing up here. Yeah, someone's not being honest. They wearing a um a fake, a fake fur coat with my faux card. Not actually. They're not actually wearing a, a fake fur coat, but it's just like they're being deceptive. They could be covering up or trying to hide their emotions. So I'm going to see what this is. Tell me about love letter. For the collective, why did love letter show up? Okay, so we got coffee cup that's coming out. Somebody wants to meet with you. It's definitely giving like date vibes for some people with this love letter card. Yeah, it's like someone's going to be um, sending you some type of communication or like love news about meeting, conversing. It's like they want to have a conversation with you. So yeah, this looks really good. And it, it's like it could definitely um, start off as some type of friendship, of course. Like something very small. It's like just go into it not expecting... Um, try not to expect for things to like move fast. It's like, you know, just go slow or whatever. That's what it looks like. But there is some type of new friendship that's coming in. Um, let's see... Be careful, too, of, like, love bombing, y'all. Tell me more. 
tell me more for uh, about love letter for the collective. So we have mirror that's showing up here. So it says mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, um, introspection. So I see where two people are coming together here, y'all. So where um, they, they came out of some type of karmic relationship. That's what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, it's like um, for some people, you may already know who this is. But it's like maybe you don't know that much about them. But it's like when y'all conversing or like talking to each other, it's like y'all may have went through similar things. So it's like you guys learned some lessons in regards to like relationships, partnerships. It's like, you know, like both of y'all know what a karmic relationship is. That's what it's giving. But let's see. Tell me more about love letter. Tell me about love letter here for the collective. So we got a camera that's showing up here. So camera, and it says reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. So there's some, some new memories to be made here within some type of new connection from what's coming out here. It's like y'all could be taking pictures together too. It's like making new memories. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, someone's super attracted to you. This seduction card just fell like on my knee. <laughs> so, and it's like a woman like on a desk, y'all. It is like a guy, but yeah, they could be daydreaming about you like this, but there's some type of seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and it does say third party interference, but I do feel like, um, I feel like that's being cleared out with this third party interference and the third party could be work too. It don't have to be always another person. It's like people be needing time to heal pretty much, but yeah, it's like a lot of dating. Um, it's, I do see where it's like mutual attraction too. So it's like when y'all take pictures, um, it's like both of y'all look, looking like really, really good, attractive. So let's see. It's like someone could be wants to take pictures with you too. That's what I just got. That's too funny. Um, it's like they're dying to get like a picture with you so they can save it for their, um, their phone screen. Tell me more. Tell me about love letter. Uh-oh. Tell me about love letter for the collective. Yeah, so we got the three of cups that came out. Page of swords peeking out in the high priestess. So yeah, there's some type of hidden emotions here um, with someone that's going to be communicating with you. This could be someone that you already had some type of encounter with. This could even be like a past life person too. But um, yeah, three of cups. So definitely like some type of gathering, social gathering. But I do feel like it's going to be like just you and this person. Drinks are like um, beverages could be very significant too. It's like they could actually be wanting to like get some coffee with you. Like it's definitely giving like Starbucks or something. It's something like very chill. And I don't know why I feel like this could be like in the um in the daytime too. It's like a daytime situation. And I don't feel like this is alcoholic drinks too, y'all. Um, I don't feel like that's a good idea, honestly. That's just my opinion. I feel like that should not be like a first date. Like y'all going to get drinks, like alcoholic drinks and getting drunk. I don't think that's a good idea. Tell me about um uh, make money together for the collective. Okay, so we got the death card showing up here, three of wands. So yeah, there's some type of good fortune. Um, I feel like with this energy that's coming out, um, for some of y'all, you could be traveling to this person or there's some type of um, awaited change that's going to be coming in with this death card that's showing up here. But yeah, it's almost like someone's coming into some type of connection to where it's like maybe you never, it's like your previous relationships or partnerships. It's like maybe you were not able to make money with the person or something. This is something different. So it's like a a friendship that turns into some type of romantic relationship. But also, too, it's like you guys are like, um, could be like business partners, too, which is like really rare. Tell me about hidden emotions. Tell me about hidden emotions for the collective. Why did it show up? Tell me about hidden emotions for the collective. Okay, we got the five of cups. So earth sign could be very significant. It's like a um king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. But this person, whoever this masculine energy is, they could already have some type of business too. 
with the king of pentacles this, this is someone who's like very stable it's like they already got some type of foundation pretty much or they have like a lot of resources surrounding business um with this five of cups though there's some type of hidden emotions that um someone is holding on to but it's almost like they could be still dwelling on the past too it's like maybe they're not really quite ready to um or maybe they were not quite ready to express how they feel it's like they're still going through something it's like a very down kind of um sad energy give me one more for hidden emotions i'm gonna just get one more and see tell me about hidden emotions yeah, so Wheel of Fortune card showing up here. I do feel like whatever this energy is, so it's like someone was not quite ready for change because look, they've been healing with this Three of Swords. And we got the Fool card too coming out. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, I know I said I was going to get one more, but I'm going to just see um, what a Keeper is, what would show up for this one. Tell me about a keeper here for the collective. Tell me about a keeper here for the collective. Oh, wow. Yeah. Someone's definitely a keeper. Look, Ten of Pentacles. Someone sees you as a Ten of Pentacles. And this is something long term, too. It's like they could see you as family as well. We got the strength card. So definitely some healing that needs to, they needed to be involved here as well. But it definitely shows where it's like someone could see you as a person like... um. Cause you see how it's like a lion and then it's a woman. It's like they see you as someone who could be um like strong, like independent, but they see you as someone that's like gonna be by their side pretty much. Cause the way it's showing up here in the cards, it's like two people together. Um, yeah, this is definitely someone who is wanting something long term for some people. You don't know if it resonates with you, but it looks like this is something new that's coming in for some people. I don't feel like this is a current situation, or it could be for somebody. But you'll know based on like the communication that you receive um, soon. That's what it looked like. But yeah, that's pretty much what showed up here in the read. Um, and I'll see y'all in another read.